Well, hey, let's walk through a quick example of how you would set up a top 10 filter. But first, I want to rearrange my pivot table a little bit so that way we get all of the customers back in the pivot table. I'm going to take the product field and move it to the column labels area. I'm going to take the region field and remove it from the report filter and take the date field and remove it from the report filter. I now have a list of all of my customers going down the left-hand side and the products going across the columns. If I want to see a list of just the top 10 customers, I would have to hover over the customer field in the pivot table field list. Click the drop-down, choose value filters, and then top 10. I can ask to see the top or bottom 10, 15, 5, 7, whatever. Either items, percent, or sum. Sum is a brand new feature based on sum of revenue. So let's say that I want to see the top five customers. I would change the spin button to show top five items by sum of revenue, click OK, and Excel will show me just the top five customers. If instead I want to see the customers who make up the top 80%, I would go back to the Customer Filter drop-down, choose Value Filters, Top 10, and say that I want to see, instead of the top five items, the top percent, and use the Spin button to move up to 80. It's a frustrating field. It goes kind of fast. You have to go up, down. So now we are asking to see the top 80% based on sum of revenue. Click OK. And this time, instead of a specific number of customers, I'm going to get the customers that make up at least 80% of revenue. Now, of course, due to rounding, this may be 82 or 83%. It makes sure to give me enough customers so that way I can see the 80%. The last option, and this option is brand new in Excel 2007, is to see the customers that make up a certain amount of revenue. Let's say that I want to see the top customers who account for $5 million of revenue. I'll go back to my Customer Filter dropdown, choose Value Filters, and then choose top 10. Change the percent to be sum. All right, now this one is crazy. I'm really not going to use the spin button to go from 80 up to 5 million. So luckily, they allow me to type a number here. I'm going to highlight the 80 and then type 5 million. Click OK, and I see just the customers who are enough to account for $5 million in revenue. In this particular case, if they had given me three customers, I would have been just shy of 5 million. Four customers gives me 5.9 million. Again, they make sure to give you enough customers to match the number that you say. This new option is pretty cool. I can imagine lots of situations where we're looking for the largest customers or the largest products or the largest whatever that hit a certain item, and this is a great add to Excel 2007. That's the top 10. Now, I'd also like to show you the date filters. And in order to do that, we're going to have to add date to our pivot table. I'm going to remove the customer field by unchecking it and add the date field by checking it you'll see that we now have dates going down the left-hand side of the pivot table. If we open the filter drop-down for the date field, instead of text filters, I now have a date filters option. The date filters, kind of a reminiscent of the filters in QuickBooks, they give me all sorts of logical concepts, such as all of the dates that are today, or next week, or last month, or this quarter. And the beautiful thing about this is, as I open the workbook later, for example, if I open it next week, the virtual or the logical date filter will automatically pull the dates that fall in that particular week. There's a few filters that I wish they would have added. For example, the last six months or the next six months, this quarter last year. But they did a great job of adding the most common filters. If none of these filters work for you exactly, you can choose the next to the last item, all dates in the period, and a new dropdown offers the four quarters, quarter one through quarter four, and the 12 months. This would allow you to see everything in June or November or quarter three. Now, again, this date filter option only appears if your column contains predominantly dates. 